Hey everybody, welcome back to The Witness. So this is Andrew's cocaine pile, or whatever I said it was last time. I admire it for all of its beauty. Run through it if you must. But, uh, it is time to actually solve some puzzles. I have woken up from this character's one-day cocaine binge. He is uh, got a splitting headache, but he's alright now. So, uh, this is kind of neat. It's clearly a section that's designed to only be beatable if you've already done like a fair number of other sections in the game. So stuff like this is like, oh, do you know this mechanic? No, then you probably shouldn't be here. I guess it's to prevent you from, I don't know, accidentally getting into this area earlier than intended. Or yeah, you know what this is for. It's got to be the case that this area is designed to uh, just combine a bunch of mechanics, and he wants to make absolutely certain that if you are entering here, you have been exposed to all the mechanics that he wants you to be exposed to. Now, before I get too far ahead of myself, I'm actually going to come into this area and uh, unlock the boat, just because I want to have it available for later, or, uh, you know, once I finish this segment, I want to have it available if I decide to leave. And we'll come back to this sort of uh, stuff later. I want to make sure that I stay relatively focused up here and go to the puzzle that I was just starting out with, which was over here. So uh, we just need to cover up all of the all of the uh, little little nuts and or bolts or whatever they are. They look like little little nuts um, to me, but. I don't know. I could just be seeing things. So we just want to come this direction, scoot up and solve it that way. And that was really loud. Uh, but it doesn't look like it was too loud, but it looks like it was still a little loud. So I'll adjust the volume there. That's still really loud. I'll adjust the volume there. Okay, that's much better. Sorry for that, uh, but you know how it goes. It's just the joys of live uh, recording and audio editing. Okay, so we got a shortcut here. And this is a new mechanic. We need to solve the... Well, whatever these things are. It's like a weird spinny thing. Ah! So I think that... This... Symbol, whatever it does, is it negates one, like, little nut-looking thing. So let's go ahead and solve it this way, which I think will unlock the ramp that I'm currently sitting behind. Yeah, so this will open up, yet again, one of the world's slowest piece of machinery, as is often the case with the Witness. But I'll live, it's not a big deal. Okay, so we... We're just gonna do this. And I think think that it's if I were to do something like partition partition it not next to any nuts I don't think that it's gonna actually do anything yeah it has to be that this symbol is contained in a block that has a uncovered like bolt thing so if I were to do this then that will solve it easy enough Alrighty, uh, somebody in my chat says, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna feel bad for you later on. Why? <laughs> that, I appreciate the sentiment, but also I find it very, very disconcerting. Uh, okay, so we'll solve it this way. And I assume that it must be the case that I leave one uncovered at all times. Like, it might be that I can actually just solve this. Uh... Okay, maybe not. I'm just gonna see, like, it might be the case that there's a way for me to just solve this without... Well, there's a couple different solutions, but I'm wondering if there's a way to solve this where we leave no nut uncovered, but it doesn't look like it, so... Screw it, we'll just go with that solution. And this is interesting because I don't see a nut. It's This is now um, no nut January. <laughs> I don't, I mean, 
I don't I don't know if no nut January is quite as uh, dank of a meme, but um, you know maybe somebody out there is uh, is not nutting and maybe this one's for you. Okay, uh, so yeah, this is the thing I was I was wondering earlier. If I just solve this like this and I cover up every nut, this is not an optional thing. That symbol must it must remove at least one nut, and. I will, I will oblige and it's nuttery, you know, far be it for me to, uh, deprive that which is, that, that which wants nut of nut, nut. So this will solve it. And that unlocked that terminal over there. So let's just pop down and, uh, get right to it. Also... I see you. I wonder if I need if I need to have an angle on this thing where you can see the sun. Might be, might be, or maybe I just need to be like on that platform, probably. But I, as soon as I walked on this ramp, I was like, hold on, I definitely saw as myself a a a, 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 a the witness puzzle. Alright, I think that if I do this, that'll lower a platform, and then I ride it up like an elevator. I'm wrong. We want to do it the other way. So that raises a platform, which I guess is this platform right here. And I guess this is not what I thought it would be. This is like a, a, a stone mason lodge. Oh, interesting. There's another witness, the, another the witness puzzle over here, because um, I see that they make they're making the statues that I've seen periodically spaced about the island. So that's kind of cool. Oh, these are pretty. I want them. I've caught them as they are birds, and that's what I do, and that will make everyone happy. Oh, okay. So this is something that I can use to reset it in case it gets into a state that I'm not able to beat the game in. Uh. Oh, this is, this symbol doesn't just eliminate, you know, bad uh, nuts. It will eliminate anything that's like wrong. This negates any wrong mechanic. So, if I do this, this will probably work because it'll eliminate one of the red to match the green effectively. So, now what I need to do is group this so that that green gets eliminated from the red. Okay. And now what I need to do is this so that the green or the red gets uh, nullified. Yeah, this is like a little nullifier. That's what I'm gonna call it, is it's the, it's the, it's the nullifier. Um, so this won't do. This is neat. What if I... Oh, I see it. I see it. We'll solve it this way. That nullifies the one red uh, square. And we're good in gold. We're good in gold. Wow. <laughs> Not quite what I meant to say. But I kind of... Act... It's got like a nice ring to it. I kind of like that one. Okay, that wasn't quite sufficient. But it's definitely thinking in the right direction. So, this is what I just attempted. I wonder. Okay. Not quite as good as gold. Okay. Uh, let's try... Let's try looping that off by itself. And then... Okay, that's not going to work. What if I approach this from the top? What can I do? This looks promising. Ah, ha, ah, ha, 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 there it is. I was gonna say, I think I'm very, very close when I'm looking at that uh, previous solution that I did there. And then I just had the synapse to make it happen. So the only element that's different between these two puzzles is the addition of this guy. So, what I think I need to do here is something 
close, very close, but not quite. It's not quite cash money yet. Uh, yeah, so this won't do. The same solution won't work because I'll be uh, not able to contain this uh, this guy because I'm covering up that corner that I need to box it in. So what about something where I was... I think I'm starting to get it. Okay. I will... I will... Almost. Okay, what about a path that's sort of like this? No, not quite. Okay, so I definitely need to group this green in somehow with all of the... Uh, with this thing. And I think I I might see it so this looks very promising oh this looks really promising there it is okay and I guess the mechanic is just different squares I saw this earlier in the in the other uh, in the in the village section but I didn't know how to what to do about it but now I do know what to do about it easy peasy and This, I can do that. No, 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 not quite. I can potentially come the other direction, though. Yep, there it is. Uh, oh. Uh, easy solution. All right. That series of puzzles wasn't so bad. And it was really fun. This was a pleasant, that was a pleasant experience there. I would uh, highly rate it. I would give it a Yelp of a lot of Yelp. And this is definitely something. Oh, and from here, I can futz with the stuff. So I want to put the ramp up again. Oh, these are mutually exclusive, so I can have one active or the other active at any given point, and, uh, but I can't have both. So I'll be able to solve this puzzle this way by just uh, doing the very easy style, you know, just go down and solve it. Let's flip it the other way, though, and I will show you something kind of cool, which is I don't need the uh, path when I'm solving this style of puzzle to maintain uh, continuity, it could be broken off like that. So right now they're not actually, you know, they're not, it's not connected anymore, but uh, all I need to do is just make it to the end over there and then I've solved it. Boop. There's another The Witness puzzle right here, but I don't quite have the right angle to solve it. It might also be the case that I need to look at it from the other direction, but, you know, this should be solvable. I know that it is just what's ostensibly creating the light beam effect here, but I know this game, kind of, and I know that there is no way that this also isn't solvable just from the right direction. Uh, but to that end, I think I might be done with the interior section, unless there's something over here, and there is, which will create the ladder, which goes somewhere? I guess it'll potentially go down. Um, alright, well, uh, who wants me to shut up for the next, uh, four minutes? What is divine in man is elusive and impalpable, and he is easily tempted to embody it in a concrete form, a church, a country social system a leader so that he may realize it with less effort and serve it with more profit yet the attempt to externalize the kingdom of heaven in a temporal shape must end in disaster it cannot be created by charters or constitutions established by arms those who seek for it alone will reach it together and those who seek it in company will perish by themselves Hugh Kingsmill, 1944. Oh, uh, that was a much shorter quotation than they usually are. Well, hello again. 
I'm, uh, I kind of had my brain just like stroke out there for a second, but I guess I can turn it back on. Cool, so I've already explored this area a fair amount. Uh, there's something to be said about this pipe or this ventilation thing. It looks very witness puzzly, but I don't see the, uh, the, the ball of the witness puzzle. So I'm going to just probably consider heading. Okay. I need to, so this is my goal. I'm heading over to this jabroni and I need to solve whatever gives me those wires. So I'm clearly not done with this building because there's this wire that I need to solve. So I am going to head back down there and try to chase trace the path of the cable so I can figure out what exactly I need to do. It also appears to be the case that that terminal needs to be um, activated by a cable that's coming out of the building. So there's clearly two or three things left in that building that I need to take care of. Now, another thing. I have spied with my little eye. Is something witnessy. Um, hmm. So, I'm not quite at the right perspective to see the the tracks that are bunched up enough. So, I think that it might be the case that that particular puzzle, because I can only see it, um, there's a certain number of angles that I can see it from. Yeah, it's not going to be able to reach all the way. And I don't know what I can do to except be in the right position to see this uh, these ties close enough together to make a solid black, um, you know, plane. But what I think that I need to do is this is like an elevator thing. So I think that from the top, I can see this. And then as I ride the elevator down, as long as I activate it at, while I'm at the top, I can drag the witness um, magic across the tracks as my perspective on it changes. So that's what we'll do uh, once the elevator is unlocked. But for now, I'm going to head back down into the workshop and look for those cables that I wasn't able to find earlier. Now... It looked to me like we had a cable that's coming in through this window over here. And I don't see the puzzles that are actually in here that are connected to that cable. It looks like they're up and then outside. So that cable that comes from that panel is connected all the way to the elevator? I mean, it must be that way. So, the cable comes in through that window. It goes through here. It goes up and out through the top. Uh, this will take me a second to run through. Oh, I'm going the wrong direction. Oh, what? Was this always here? No. Okay, so I did... I did... I did something. This looks different. This one was not unlocked until just a second ago. This one's purple. I don't know what purple means. This puzzle also looks quite hard. It's very, very large and intimidating. Uh... 
Never mind, it was really easy. Fuck. <laughs> oh. What? How did I... This is... This... What? I just solved this puzzle on my first attempt. Alright. That was legit. This puzzle looks like, looks like it should be a lot easier. So, let's just prove myself very wrong. So we start here. We're gonna loop around. Huh. This is wonky. This is really strange. Okay, what if I do something... Uh, huh. God, this is very, very strange. I can't think of a way that I can, like, nerf two of these squares. And I have to start in the middle. I know that much. So, whatever I do, I need to do something... Hang on. Um, hmm. Yeah, so this still connects all the red together. So what if I do something like... So whatever I do, the first thing I have to do is uh, reach a wall. So I need to... I need to partition the reds in a way such that we cover up something like that. No, 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 no. Let's go to the bottom. And boy, okay, I, I can kind of see what I need to do, but only kind of. And this looks really, really close. That's the one. Alrighty then. Alrighty. 